Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. Have I got an amazing video for you guys? All right. We all know that Bakelite is a Bolo, but in this video, I am going to show you one of the most unexpected, incredible Bakelite Bolos I have ever seen, along with a whole bunch more. So stay tuned. Let's get started with some Bakelite Bolos. All right, are you ready for the first one? It says uh, that feedback was left, so it was a good sale, five hundred dollars. So they took a best offer of five hundred dollars. It is Bakelite beer tap pull handles. Did you know that they made Bakelite beer tap? I thought it was tab. I guess it's tap. Yeah, because you're yeah beer tap. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Bakelite. Bakelite. I had no idea. And I've never really thought to do this with my phone. I usually take a picture of the Q-tip showing that it's Bakelite. So anyway, what do you guys think about that? Did you know about this? 11 pieces here. Would you have parted them out or sold them together in a lot? Let me know in the comments. This has got to be the strangest, weirdest, most amazing Bakelite Bolo I have ever seen. Are you kidding me right now? It is a clothespin. <laughs> wow. And you can see right here, they show where they tested it. I mean, there it is next to a quarter. Is that crazy or what? Oh, they're doing the flashlight thing too. Oh. Do you get all three? See, now I'm confused. Is it just one or do you get all three? So sometimes people do this. They will put other ones to show other things in their store. Let's see. This auction is for another Art Deco Bakelite or Catalan paperclip holder in the shape of a clothespin or peg. The Bakelite is swirly end of day EOD with olive green, yellows, browns, and swirls. Translucent with in internal waves when a light is shown close. 146 grams. I am offering the clothespin paper holders in separate auctions this week. See last picture. This auction is for the green end of day clothes clip only. So um, what do you guys think about that? Confusing or makes sense? It looks like this person uh, sells a lot of Bakelite. It's in their username. So they must, uh, that must be how they advertise. I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I think it's a really smart idea if it doesn't confuse the buyer because you're leading your buyers into your store to possibly purchase another item. However, they see that last photo and they think, do I get all of them? So what do you guys think about that in the comments? Let me know. And you can see right here, it was a good purchase and it sold for $846 on auction. And let's click on this. It had 31 bids. And you can see here, most of the buyers or the people bidding did not have high feedback, but they left feedback. So I'm sorry, they didn't have a lot of feedback, but they left positive feedback. So it was a good sale. That is one of the weirdest, most amazing Bakelite Bolos I have ever seen. So we're going to keep going because I have a whole bunch to show you. Look at this gorgeousness. Fabulous and iconic mixed fruit Bakelite brooch. Wow. Is that not so cool? And I do have videos that show you guys how to test for Bakelite. If you type in Bolo Buddies test for Bakelite, um, it'll show you how to do that. And I'm not an expert, but I, I know how to do the basics. And you can see here that feedback was left. 950 crossed through. I went over here to Terapeak. Um, Everybody has access to Terapeak, I think, that's on eBay. And you just go in and you type the title into the search and you can go back three years and you can see here is the item and it sold for a best offer of $800. I mean, just $800 for the brooch, guys, $800. This is a vintage marbled butterscotch Bakelite Catalan block. Cube salesman, salesman sample. What is a salesman sample? Is that... I mean, I, I don't know. I don't understand. What do you do with this? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. 
and it sold for $950 with positive feedback. Wow. It's a 1,002 grams. Huge two inch antique black Bakelite die. This is one die. Oh my goodness. Be on the lookout. Look, it's chipped. What? I didn't know Bakelite chipped. Okay, so here's where I get confused. I know that testing Bakelite on black is different than the other colors. If anybody is really confident in this answer and can put it down below, when testing black Bakelite, what happens? Does it turn black? Because I had some things that I thought were Bakelite that were black and I tested them and they turned black, but I thought they weren't because it turned black. Now, see here, it's yellow. All right, now I'm confused. Why was the other one, why was the other one black? See? I'm confused. Are you confused? I'm very confused. So that looks like what it's supposed to look like. All right, so why'd they show the other picture? Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, how are they holding that? Huh. And there's your weight. All right. If you guys have any feedback, put it in the comments if you're a Bakelite expert. And you can see here, super $1,000 on that die. This is a large three-inch Bakelite backgammon octagon doubling cube. One, they're calling it a cube. One cube. Just one, guys. Three inches. Feedback left. $900. It's a game piece. Look at this gorgeous bracelet. Rare vintage three color bow tie pattern Bakelite bangle. Gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And it's, oops. $1,199, it looks like, on this one. And I think I checked to see if it was relisted, but there was no feedback. This is an antique Art Deco era caramel amber Bakelite inkwell desk set writing accessory. Look at that. What do you think? Pretty cool. $1,200. I would say that's pretty cool. This is a Manjong Butterscotch Amber Bakelite Thick Tile Chinese Set. Gorgeous. $1,325 on auction. And it says Butterscotch Amber. So maybe that's a particular color that's maybe more sought after. They do range in uh, pricing. And you can see that feedback was left and everything was good. This is a Bakelite shooting trophy clock green and yellow swirl from 1953. It's like a trophy clock. $1,431. And I think I checked and that one was not relisted. Usually what I do is I check... Uh, the feedback first to see if there's any feedback. Then I check to see if it was relisted. And then I also will look at how many feedback the buyer had. And if it's zero, sometimes you could think oh, it maybe didn't get paid for. But when you have 27 uh, bids and eight unique bidders, it probably got paid for. These are 110 grams of antique Fatterin Cherry Amber Bakelite beads. $1,000. $850 is what this was listed for. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're beads, just beads. There's your feedback. $1,850, almost $2,000. This is a vintage cherry burgundy stardust Bakelite carved bird umbrella. $1,865. How rad is that? It is just the umbrella handle. It's not even the whole umbrella, guys. You're not even getting the umbrella. You're you you're going to get wet, but you have a really cool handle. Wow. 50 bids, 
10 unique buyers, only six feedback. And you can see, oh, that's a different one. What did I do here? Okay, I think I'm pretty sure I checked that one to see if it was relisted. This one says Cathedral Butterscotch Catalan Tombstone Radio. Let's see if I have it. There it is. Okay, so I did it backwards. This one looks like they took a best offer of 1600 Here it is. It was originally listed for 2313 So it's an old Bakelite radio. Pretty rad, right? And here is a Kentucky Derby Beetle Wear Bakelite World War II Souvenir Glass. You guys, $5,250. Nine unique bidders, 45 bids. Right, here it is, $5,250, and it sold. I should have showed you pictures. All right, this one is a Tacky Board Retro Bakelite Backgammon Set. $6,100. Look at that gorgeousness. Wow. Wow. $6,100. And there is your feedback. Bam! $6,000. Are you guys in shock? Are those some unexpected Bakelite bolos? I mean, we know that jewelry does well, so I didn't include a lot of jewelry in this one, but what? So Bakelite, 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 look for it, test it, sell it, all right? And again, Bolo Buddies, Bakelite in the YouTube search, and I show you how to test it. Now, the only thing I don't talk about is how to test Black Bakelite because I'm not really certain on that one. So Again, if anybody has any tricks or tips down in any, if anybody has any tricks or tips, put those down in the comments for us. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.